In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be his mother, Virgin Mary, our beloved mother too. The Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intention of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Dear brothers and sisters, don't we recognize our own world? Don't we recognize also in our own heart some wickedness, traces of sin? Dear brothers and sisters, we know how the story goes on and the Lord regretted that he had made man on the earth and he grieved and it grieved him to his heart. Dear brothers and sisters, we feel the sufferance we feel the pain in the heart of God the Father, that he comes so far to have regretted to have created man. And so the world is destroyed, destroyed except one just, Noah, his family, and the animals. Afterwards, God had a bond with Noah, but this bond was broken and broken and broken. So God decided, and he said, I will go down to earth myself. Mankind will not be exterminated, but I give my life. I go down into the sin, into the ocean of sin, the ocean of wickedness, and I will give my life. And we see it announced at the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan. We see it later on, and it's not just symbolically that Jesus came down. He came to the cross. And there he became the Lamb of God. But he did it in freedom. Freely he gave his life. Sin could not overcome him, even if it seemed that sin and the powers of darkness were stronger than him. But he was stronger. And he defeated sin and the devil, the accusator. Dear brothers and sisters, I remember these words from St. Paul in the letter of, the Rome, of Romans, where he said, where sin had become great. The pity of God, the love of God, the forgiveness of God has become still greater and greater. And they remember these words of St. Peter saying, put all your weaknesses, all your sins, put them on Jesus. He will take care of you. Dear brothers and sisters, this is what we must do. We must not discourage seeing the sin and the wickedness of the world. We must not discourage neither seeing our own sin and wickedness. We must do the right thing and put all our sins, our wickedness on Jesus so that he can set us free. That is why he has come and he wants to do it and he will do it. So let us do the steps required to throw all our sins and wickedness unto Jesus to be set free in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. A blessed day to each one of us.